Hello, and welcome to Cinch IT's cybersecurity training. Today we will be discussing a type of cyber attack known as public Wi-Fi scams. Just tap connect. That is the everyday mindset we as individuals have fallen into when it comes to connecting to Wi-Fi, whether it be in a lobby, coffee shop, airport, or other public space. We freely and blindly plug in and agree, just to be able to access a few minutes of social connectivity. But little do people know, those few minutes of screen time can cost hours of headaches. Public Wi-Fi poses a big threat to our personal privacy and security. The reasoning being is it's accessible to be used by everyone. Having that level of accessibility is convenient, but it's coming at the cost of zero protection. By everyone sharing the same password or service, you essentially are waving away your protection. In addition, these environments are often beacons of temptation for various cyber criminals who can't wait to get a hold of your coveted, personal information. Luckily, there are various precautions we can take to be one step ahead of the ever-looming threat that surrounds public spaces. First, always make sure to verify the network you are using before continuing onto a public network. Often, cyber criminals will lay down a trap by setting up a fake or spoofed network in disguise as a public hotspot. The network will usually have a similar name to the public network available and will let you access the web as normal. The difference being that it may attempt to send you to a fake website where it will try to ask for login or payment information. It may also just spy on you, studying on where and how you browse to gain useful information for future potential scams. Verifying with a staff member, along with checking the encryptions of the network, are a few ways to help verify the correct hotspot. Encryptions can help make a connection secure. The most common form of encryption is SSL, which is indicated by a web address beginning with HTTPS. SSL encryption means that anyone who attempts to look into your online activity will only be able to see an unreadable mess of useless data. A padlock on a site usually means that SSL encryption is in use on the site and is safer to access. Though SSL is a great first form of defense against this cyber threat, it is still highly suggested to use a VPN when connecting in public spaces as well. VPN stands for Virtual Private Network, which provides another difficult obstacle for criminals to get through. VPN extends the safety of a private network across a public network by encrypting your internet traffic and disguising your online identity. This disguise makes it much more difficult for third parties to track your activity and gain access to your personal information. Many VPNs are available for desktop and mobile devices. They are easy to set up and maintain and are a great tool when away and at home to help keep your data safe. In addition to VPN, it is wise to keep all your software up to date and to turn your Wi-Fi off when not actively in need for Wi-Fi. Both are simple in practice and application and will be key habits in lowering your device's susceptibility to spoofed networks by avoiding auto connect functionality found in most devices. Thank you for watching. Be sure to use the link below to share this training with your team. I'll see you next week for another Cinch IT lesson in cybersecurity.